welcome back to my channel, Drunk Crafts with Paige. I am Paige, and this week I'm drinking another cider. <laughs> I hope you liked my singing. <laughs> it was very Linda from Bob's Burgers esque. <laughs> I made an impulse buy on Amazon. Well, not really an impulse buy. I have a reason behind it. I always have to rationalize my purchases. My fiance and I bring our own lunches to work. Due to COVID, they have stopped providing their own plasticware. We bring our own and I do my very best to try to wash and reuse them every time we have to, but there's only so much that you can do with plasticware. So I decided to buy myself some bamboo utensils and you know what we have done with bamboo utensils before we have made resin handles with them those were on a larger scale they were kitchen utensils but I figured it would be cool to take these awesome bamboo utensils and also create resin handles for them so that's what we're gonna be doing this week and if you'd like to see how they turn out please stick around So all of these utensils came in this adorable little cloth travel bag with a bottle opener on the end. <laughs> and this kit comes with a knife, a spoon, a fork, a toothbrush, some chopsticks, a bamboo straw, and a nice little cleaning brush that you can clean it out with. Technically, I have already done our first step, which pretty frequently is doing our base coat. I have painted the ends of all of my utensils white and I measured from the end up is two inches on all of them. So we're gonna get into the resin part, we're gonna throw some pigments in, maybe some glow in the dark stuff, I don't know. Let's get to it. I have just finished mixing up my little cup of resin. It's not a whole lot. These handles are relatively small. As I stated before, they're only two inches from the bottom. And I am going to go with some violet, some raspberry, and some yellow gold. And I might throw in some neon, this one's called lemon, into the yellow gold. Or maybe I'll just put like little flecks on it. We've done that before with like our coasters that we've just kind of taken a brush and just like knocked it on the top. I don't know. thought it might be cool. But our main three colors are violet, gold, and raspberry. So I'm gonna go ahead and divide our resin into cups. And we're gonna add in our pigments. All right, pigments are in. I may have put too much in our raspberry. We'll see what that does. <laughs> so I'm gonna just take my little like silicone popsicle stick and kind of drizzle it on. We're not looking for anything neat here. are violet. I was afraid the violet might drown out the red and the gold. I might be right. We'll just Kind of like with alcohol ink, we're just going to keep on layering here. And the way that I tape these up for this side, the edges are showing, so we're going to make sure to get those nice and good. And then let's just drizzle some gold. Mm. 
Okay, and I'm gonna hit it with the heat gun to try to blend it all together and also try to get any air bubbles out. I'm gonna dip my finger in some of the stuff that's like falling onto the mat and make sure that all of my edges on these are getting covered. some more. Try to hit up any missed spots. the purple was going to drown out some of these colors, but it really doesn't look like it's doing that. If anything, it might be the raspberry. The edges are not going to be as thick resin wise as the top of these are. So there may not be a whole lot of color that ends up coming through. That's another reason why I ended up doing the base coat because these edges aren't going to have a whole lot of the resin and the color sticking to it. When we did the utensils, it was kind of just a very light kind of glaze. Enough that it covered the edges, but not super cool and marbly like how these front look. And from here, it looks like all of my sides are covered. Like I said, they're not going to be super thick, but maybe let's try, let's dust some of this glue in the dark powder on. And we'll see in the end if it does anything. I'm just putting it on a paintbrush and knocking it off. I think all of these look really cool. They're all marbly and unique in their own different way, but I can see like every color. The raspberry and the gold do kind of overpower, but we've got slight, slight hints of the purple throughout the whole thing. So I'm really excited. We are gonna let these cure and we're gonna come back, flip them over. We're gonna take the tape off and do it all again on the other side. Our utensils have fully cured. I removed all the tape that we had on there and I re-taped them up, this time covering the edges because we did that the first time. So basically we're just going to do the same thing, same colors, drizzling them on, kind of moving them around with the heat gun. And at the very end, we're going to use the paintbrush to kind of dash dash on a little bit of the glow in the dark. Pretty much the same thing as the other side. We're just not going to do the edges. Glow in the dark color is on and we are just going to let these cure. 
will come back when they are done. Our utensil set is totally cured and ready for us to take an up close look. It's kind of funny, the one side I did, I was a little worried about the raspberry reddish color overpowering everything. And on the opposite side, it ended up being the purple that I was a little heavy handed with. So the two opposite sides of each piece aren't as cohesive, they don't look exactly the same, but I think that makes all of the utensils super cool and very unique and they all look very marbled and awesome. I love this color combination together. So here is our spoon. This is the raspberry reddish side and then on the opposite side you can see there is a bit more purple. But Either way, I love both sides. Now the question is, does the glow powder that we dusted on all of these show through when they've been held up to the light? We shall see. And I'll also give you guys some nice up close shots of all of these utensils out in the natural light so you can get a good look at them. Not gonna lie you guys, I'm super excited to use this toothbrush. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching my video. I hope you all enjoyed it. And if you did, then feel free to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. You could also hit that notification bell to be notified every Friday when I post a new video. The links for my Instagram and my Facebook page are down in the description box below, as well as my PayPal account if you feel like contributing to the channel. I also put a list of all of the materials that I used, and I put that in the description of every video in case you feel like recreating something that we made. I will see you guys all for the next video. Cheers!